Today, we will be teaching 5.2 evaluating and graphing polynomial functions. However, we will be mainly focusing on evaluating polynomial functions and not graphing. We will be evaluating the polynomial functions through a method called synthetic substitution. However, before we start teaching, it is essential that we know two important vocabulary terms for this chapter. The first one, the first vocabulary term is polynomial. A polynomial is a monomial or a sum of monomials. The second vocabulary term is poly polynomial function. A polynomial function is a function involving only non-negative integer powers of x. Let's get started, shall we? The first example is f of x equals 5x cubed minus 2x squared minus 8x plus 16 and x equals 3. To start off this problem, we will be drawing a long L to format this. Since x equals 3, we will be throwing 3 outside of the L because this is how the problem is done. To put the numbers into the inside of the L, it will be according to the size of the exponents for the coefficients. So 5x cubed, that is the largest coefficient for the largest number. So 5 will be going on the first part of the problem. Negative 2 will follow that, along with negative 8 and 16. To do this problem, we will first drop the 5 first. 5 will be dropped here, and to get this term here, we will be multiplying 3 with 5. So that will give us 15. And to get this term over here, we need to add negative 2 to 15. And with that, we will get sum of 13. 13 times 3, we will be following the same exact concept for the next few ones. So. 39 will follow here, and 31 will be your sum here. And to get the last one, you get a total of 93, and your answer is right here of 109. And that's just the first problem. Okay, so let's move on to example 2. Example 2 has the problem f of x equals negative 2x to the power 4 plus 3x cubed minus 8x plus 13, and x equals 2. So we'll be doing the exact same thing as we did last problem by drawing the long L first. 2 will go on the outside and then we'll be putting these coefficients in. Negative 2 because x to the power 4 and then 3 here because x to the power 3. Now we don't have an x to the power of 2 so to replace that we'll be adding a 0. Okay and negative 8 will follow and we'll end it off with 13. So we do the exact same thing of dropping negative 2 this will multiply into negative 4. This will add on to negative 1, multiply negative 2. Also negative 2 multiplies into negative 4. We add that, that equals to negative 12. We end it off with negative 24, and your final answer is 11. And that's how you do these problems. So that's pretty much all you have to do to solve polynomial functions through synthetic substitution. Hopefully you are ready to try these problems by yourself now. Now we'll move on to the next chapter which is 5.5 applying remainder and factor theorems. Now we will be teaching chapter 5.5 applying remainder and factor theorems. This chapter will mainly focus on polynomial division. There are two ways to divide polynomials. The two ways are polynomial long division and synthetic division. Polynomial long division is a long and tedious process where synthetic division is a quicker and simpler way of dividing polynomials. Synthetic division is also sometimes called synthetic substitution. However, there is a reason why there are two methods of polynomial division. This is because polynomial long division is used when the divisor is in the polynomial form. So, for example, x squared minus 3x plus 5. Synthetic division, however, is used when the divisor is in x minus k format. So for example, x minus 5. For this lesson, the objective is to learn how to divide polynomials through synthetic division. The first example is 2x squared minus 7x plus 10 divided by x minus 5. And we'll call this example 1. So since this is negative 5, we'll 
we'll change it to 5 and don't forget the L form and we'll plug 2 in here 7, negative 7 in here and 10 in here now we'll bring 2 down 5 times 2 is 10 negative 7 plus 10 is positive 3 5 times 3 is 15 and that gives us 25 now this is really important because 25 is the remainder. If there wasn't a remainder, it would have been zero. So then our answer would be 2x squared plus 3x plus 25 over x minus 5, which is from here. And that is the answer for the first problem. Now we'll move on to example two. The example two, the problem is x squared plus 8x plus 1 divided by x plus 4. Now as usual, we will be changing the sign here, so then it will become negative 4, don't forget the L form, 1, 8, 1. Now I bring 1 down, 1, negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, 8 plus negative 4 is 4, 4 times negative 4 is negative 16, 1 plus negative 16 is 15, negative 15, sorry. And that's a not is a zero, so that's the remainder. So x squared plus four minus fifteen over x minus four, and that is the answer for example two. Now synthetic division is actually pretty easy once you practice a few problems. We hope you learned a lot from our video project. Thanks for watching.